Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the sixth tutorial of the 3D Low Poly Game Modeling for Beginners series. In this tutorial, we will be modeling a low poly pirate ship. Go ahead and change the renderer to cycles. Go into orthographic view, which is five on the numpad, and front view, which is one on the numpad and then tab into edit mode. Go into top view which is 7 on the numpad and scale the cube along the x-axis S X 10 then scale the cube along the y-axis S Y 3 then go into front view which is 1 on the numpad Go into edge mode using control tab and then go into bottom view which is control and 7 on the numpad. Add one horizontal loop using control R. Then go into front view which is 1 on the numpad and add three vertical loop cuts using control R. Go into the left side view, which is control and three on the numpad, and select the left and right edges, and scale them along the y-axis, S, Y, 0.1. Then go into right side view, which is three on the numpad, select the left and right edges, and scale them along the y-axis S Y point seven and go into face mode using control tab and then using the circle select which is your C key select the bottom faces of the ship body go into front view which is one on the numpad and extrude the faces along the z-axis E1. Go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and then scale these bottom faces along the y-axis S Y 0.5 then extrude the faces along the z-axis E1 then scale these new faces along the y-axis S Y point two then go into top view which is seven on the numpad deselect everything with your A key and then use your circle select which is your C key and select all the top faces inset these faces I 0.05 then what we want to do is select the faces around the outer edge of the ship body go into front view which is one on the numpad and extrude the faces along the z-axis E.5 now select the new faces the ones that are facing you and go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and extrude the faces along the y-axis E Y negative 0.2 then go into back view which is control and one on the numpad and select the faces on this side of the ship go into right side view which is three on the numpad and extrude the faces along the y-axis E Y point two then select these two back faces go into front view which is one on the numpad and extrude the faces along the x-axis EX.2 
go into the left side view, which is Control and 3 on the numpad, and then select these four faces. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and extrude the faces along the x axis E, X, negative 0.2. Go into top view, which is seven on the numpad, and select the four middle faces and inset them simply by hitting I. Then go into front view which is 1 on the numpad, and wireframe move, which is Z, and extrude these faces along the Z axis, E, negative 0.5, and then go back into solid move with Z. Select the top two faces at the back of the ship, go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad, and wireframe move, which is Z, and extrude the faces along the Z axis, E.5. Go back into solid mode and then select all of the faces at the back of the ship. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and extrude the faces along the Z axis, E2. Now select the top faces of the outer edge of the quarter deck. Then go into front view, which is one on the numpad and extrude the faces along the Z axis, E.2. Go into edge mode using control tab, and into top view, which is seven on the numpad, and add two horizontal loop cuts to the bottom face of the quarter deck using control R. Then go back into face mode with control tab, then select the top faces of the outer edge of the quarter deck. Then go back into front view, which is one on the numpad, and extrude the faces along the Z axis, E1. Add a cube using Shift A and move it up above the deck. Now scale what is going to be our stringer along the x axis, S, X, 0.1, and then scale it along the y axis, S, Y, 0.1. Then move the stringer so the top right face is touching the quarter deck. Select the bottom face of the stringer. and then use the manipulator and move it down along the z-axis until it touches the deck. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and wireframe, which is z, and then move this bottom face out until it's about one blender unit to the left. And go back into solid mode with your Z key. Go into the left side view, which is control and three on the numpad, and edge mode with control tab. 
and add 14 horizontal loop cuts using Control R. We'll go into face mode using Control Tab and select the entire stringer with your L key and move it over into position. Then duplicate the stringer with Shift D and move the duplicated stringer to the left one blender unit. Now we need to select every other face on the inside of each stringer starting with the second from the top and bridge the edge loops with W bridge edge loops. Add a cube with shift A and move it above the quarter deck. Scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, 0.2, and then scale the cube along the X axis. S, X, point 0.2. Then use the manipulator and move the cube onto the quarter deck. Add a cylinder using Shift A and change the number of vertices to 16. and then move the cylinder above the deck. Rotate the cylinder around the y-axis 90 degrees, R, Y, 90, and then scale the cylinder, S, 0.2. Move the cylinder and place it about three-fourths of the way up the cube that we just made. And we want to leave about half of the cylinder st sticking out of the back of the cube. Go into right side view, which is three on the numpad, and select the face of the cylinder and duplicate it using Shift D. Then scale the duplicate face, S2. Then go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and extrude the face along the X axis, E. X point zero five. Now delete both the front and back faces of this new cylinder. Then select the entire wheel with your L key and rotate it around the X axis nine degrees. R X nine. Add a cylinder with Shift A and move it behind the ship's wheel. Scale the cylinder along the X and Y axis. S, Shift, Control, Alt, Z. 0.02. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad, 
and then use the manipulator to center the cylinder over this circle. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and wireframe mode, which is Z. Then go ahead and use the manipulator and move the cylinder down along the Z axis until it's about a blender unit below the bottom of the circle. Then select the top face of the cylinder. And then move it down along the Z axis until it's about a blender unit above the top of the circle. Then select the entire cylinder with your L key. And duplicate it using Shift D. Rotate the duplicated cylinder around the x-axis 45 degrees. R, X, 45. Then deselect everything with your A key. Then select the original vertical cylinder with your L key. And duplicate it using Shift D. Then rotate this cylinder around the x-axis, negative 45 degrees, R, X, minus 45. Deselect everything with your A key. Select the original cylinder again with your L key. Duplicate it with Shift D. And then rotate this cylinder around the x-axis, 90 degrees, R, X, 90. Then go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad, and solid mode, which is Z. Add a cube with Shift A, and move it above the deck. Scale the cube along the x-axis, S, X, 0.3. Go into the left side view, which is Control and 3 on the numpad. Then move the door down along the z-axis until it is on the deck. Select the top face of the cube and move it up along the z-axis about half a blender unit. Go into Edge Mode with Control Tab. Then with Control R, add four vertical loop cuts to the door. Go into Face Mode with Control Tab. And Wireframe Mode, which is Z. And select the top middle face of the cube. and move it up along the z-axis about three-tenths of a blender unit. Then go back into solid mode with your Z key and edge mode with control tab. And select the two top inner edges on either side of the middle face. Go into wireframe mode with your Z key and move these edges up about two tenths of a blender unit. Select the entire door with your L key and go into front view which is one on the numpad. And then use the manipulator and move the door along the x-axis so the front faces are about three-tenths of a blender unit in front of the quarter deck. And go back into solid mode with your Z key. Go into the left side view, which is control 3. 
add one horizontal loop with control R and left click only once then slide the loop cut up along the Z axis until it's about two tenths of a blender unit from the top of the door then add a vertical loop cut to the right side of the door control R left click only once and slide it along the y-axis until it's about two tenths of a blender unit from the right edge then add another vertical loop cut to the left side of the door with control R left click once and slide it to the left till it's about two tenths of a blender unit from the left edge hit control tab and go back into face mode and then select the interfaces of the door go into front view which is one on the numpad and wireframe which is your Z key and extrude these front faces along the X axis E X point zero four go into left side view which is control three on the numpad and back into solid mode select the entire door with your L key and move it into position add a cube with shift A and move it up above the deck scale the cube along the Y axis S Y point one scale it along the X axis S X point one and scale it along the Z axis S Z point five and go into front view which is one on the numpad select the top face of the door handle and extrude it along the Z axis E point one and select the bottom face of the door handle and extrude it along the Z axis E point one then select the top and bottom back faces of the handle and extrude these along the X axis E X point three select the entire door handle with your L key and scale it S.5 then use the manipulator and place the door handle on the door add a cylinder with shift A and move it above the quarter deck scale and cylinder S.3 then move the mass down onto the quarter deck go into top view which is 7 on the numpad then center the mast in the back fifth of the quarter deck select the top face and duplicate it with shift D scale the duplicated face S.7 go into front view which is one on the numpad and extrude the mass along the Z axis E10 Then scale the very top part of the mast, S.3. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad. And select the entire mast with your L key. Duplicate the mast using Shift D. 
and then move this duplicated mass to the front fifth of the deck. And then move the mass down along the z-axis until it's sitting on the deck. Select the top face of the front mast. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad. And use the manipulator and move it up along the z-axis until the top of this front mast is as tall as the rear mast. Go into the left side view, which is control three on the numpad. Add a plane with shift A and move it up above the quarter deck. Rotate the sail around the Y axis 90 degrees, R, Y, 90. Scale the sail along the Y axis, S, Y, 2. And scale the sail along the Z axis. S, Z, 1.5 and go into edge mode using control tab and using control R add two horizontal loop cuts onto the sail and left click only once. Then scale the loops along the Z axis with your S and Z until they're about a tenth of a blender unit from the top and bottom of the sail. Go into face mode using control tab and select the top and bottom faces of the sail. Go into front view which is one on the numpad and extrude the faces along the x-axis. E X point zero one. Then go into edge mode with control tab and left side view which is control and three on the numpad. Add three horizontal loop cuts to the sail using control R and add two vertical loop cuts using control R. Then select the three horizontal loop cuts and go into front view which is one on the numpad and use the manipulator and move the loop cuts along the x-axis three tenths of a blender unit to the left. Then select just the center loop cut and go back into front view which is one on the numpad and move it along the x-axis a tenth of a blender unit. Select the entire sail with your L key. Make sure you're in front view which is one on the numpad. And then use the manipulator and move the sail to the rear mast about three blender units from the top. And note that the sail might be needed to rotate around the Y axis to make it straight. So just hit R and Y and rotate it until it lines up better with the mast. Duplicate the sail using Shift D. Then move the duplicated sail to the front mast, again about three blender units from the top.
Then go into the left side view, which is control and three on the numpad. Then duplicate the sail with shift D. Then scale the duplicated sail, S 1.5. And then move the sail about a half a blender unit below the smaller sail. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and add a cylinder using shift A, and move it above the deck. Go into face mode using control tab, and select the top face. Then scale the face, S 1.2. Go into top view, which is seven on the numpad, Make sure you just have the top face selected and inset it using your I key. And then delete the top face using your X key. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad. Select the entire crow's nest with your L key and move it above the small sail on the front mast. Then scale the crow's nest along the Z axis, S, Z, 0.7. Make sure that you're in the front view, which is one on the numpad. Add a cube with shift A, and move it up above the deck. Scale the cube, S, 0.5, and go into top view, which is seven on the numpad. Then scale the porthole along the Y axis, S, Y, 0.5. And go to edge mode using control tab. Add two horizontal loop cuts using control R. And then add four vertical loop cuts using control R. Go into face mode using control tab. And select the second and fourth face in the center row. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad. And extrude the faces along the Z axis, E.2. Select the entire porthole with your L key and go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. Then use the manipulator and move the porthole into position. And make sure that the extrusions that we just made are touching the side of the ship. And go into front view, which is one on the numpad. Then make two duplicates and center them along the side of the ship. Select all three portholes with your L key and duplicate them using Shift D. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad, and use the manipulator and place the duplicates on the opposite side of the ship. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad. Add a cube using Shift A, and move it above the deck. Scale the cube along the Y axis, 
S Y point two. Then select the front face and inset it. I point one. Go into edge mode using control tab. Add eight horizontal loop cuts with control R. and add eight vertical edge loops using control R. Then go back into face mode with control tab. Then select the second, fifth, and eighth row and second and fifth and eighth column of faces. Then select the outside frame. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad. And extrude the faces along the y axis. E, Y, negative 0.1. Then select the entire window with your L key. Then use the manipulator and place the window along the back of the quarter deck. Scale the window, S.6. Duplicate the window twice with Shift D and align the windows on the back of the quarter deck. Now it's time to add some materials. So open up your material tab. Click on the plus button and the new button and rename the material wood. Give the wood material a brown color. I'm going to use the hex code of 976822. Then select everything with your A key and assign the wood color to the entire ship. Click on the plus button and the new button and rename this material frames and give it a white color which is a hex code of all F's. Then select just the window frames. and then assign the frames material to the frames. Click on the plus button and the new button. Rename this material window and give it a sky blue color. I'm going to be using a hex code of 31 B7, E7. Then select the windows and assign the color to the windows. Now 
I click the plus button and the new button, rename this material metal, and I'm going to give it a gray color. I'm going to use the hex code of 474747. Then select the door handle and the top and bottom of the sails, the section that we extruded. And the metal parts on the portholes, which is these extrusions. and then assign the metal color to these selections. Click on the plus button and the new button and name this material sale. Give it a dark gray color. I'm using the hex code of 1B, 1B, 1B. and then select the sales and assign this color. And there you have a very simple low poly pirate ship. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.